Okay, I'm taking an update. Um, I decided on not trying to get the, the the simplest solution is trying to get the 12 horse to run, and I did. Well, the carburetor on it decided to act up and not work correctly at lower RPMs, so I took it off. Okay, it's you know easy fix. Um, Instead, I put a carburetor that's on it for like one of these engines. It's a small carburetor. It's not not quite as big as that one is. Um, actually, it's about sixty thousandths smaller than that one, which is a big decrease. And I uh, put a manifold on it, lifted it up a little bit. Uh, I it I put it in there just right so it lines up with the stock throttle pe portion. But the stock throttle cable is sticking and doesn't go all the way back. So I'm probably going to either put another spring on this so that it pulls it back to idle when I idle down or I'm going to do away with the stock throttle and put a pedal on it. I'll probably put a pedal on it. Um, but there it is and she runs beautifully. Uh, let's see if I can't get her to chooch over. But there it is, and she's running, and she, as you can tell, she's already been running through mud and shit, but that's mostly just from my driveway, because my driveway's a mud pit, for crying out loud. Um, I've got a few more things to do with the bumper. Um, I kind of wanted to put side portions on it to protect the front tires. I may take it off and redo it the way they're mounted. I'm thinking about doing that. Um, what I'll probably do is just uh, cut the arms and then bring it, um, bring the arms on the outside. I'm also thinking about putting a set of shocks on the outside to keep give it stability, keep it from rolling. Because uh, one thing I've noticed in a lot of the videos that Fearless and Mower Outlaw is when they go into certain holes, they roll. The tractor rolls, and I found a way to fix that is to put a set of shocks on the front end. Um, other than that. Uh, the, the only thing that concerns me is that it burns oil. Now it could be leaking via um, valve seat or it could be just an oil ring on the piston. But other than that, she has no loss in compression. So I ain't worried about it. As so long as I keep it full of oil, I keep extra oil on it, it'll be fine. Alrighty, that's it for this, uh, this particular um, update. I do, however, have need to figure out whether or not I need to put a pump, a fuel pump for this on here. I'll, I'll probably go electric if I can get the stupid thing to charge, and I'll probably just uh, maybe turn the tank around, put it over there, and then run the fuel line uh, either around through here, back through, and up here just to, you know, get it done. Um, but here she is. Here eventually I'm going to get footage of going through mud and shit with it. Um, I'm hoping that I can get, you know, everything I want to get well enough and uh, go up there and ride with Fearless and them and take their trails on. Um, maybe one day they'll come down here and I'll have some trails. We'll have, we'll have trails that we can go down. Uh, well, that's it for now, so I'm going to sign off. Uh, like, rate, subscribe, you know, leave a comment, all that good stuff. I'll catch you all later.